God has a way by which he builds his own house. And he is a master builder. But first and foremost, let me tell you where I'm coming from. So that you may understand that this church is different in the sense that while most of the other preachers are looking forward to modernizing the house of God, in this church we don't seek to modernize God. God cannot be modernized. He's old, he's ancient. We are seeking to go back to those ancient ways. To the old God, the ancient of times that had been and that will ever be. Nothing can be added to God, nothing can be taken from him. It is pointless you're trying to dress God up as if you're trying to sell a car or a washing machine to make him presentable. God does not need that from you. He is who he is. And he will remain what he is. He cannot lose. We are the ones who can lose. We have to bend to his ways, not he bending to our ways. The second book of Maccabees in Apocrypha. Some of your Bibles have it. Some of your Bibles don't have it. But there's only one verse that I want to take from that. And that verse is so relevant. Second Maccabees, chapter 2, verse 29. And you listen to it very well. It says, For as the master builder of the house, as the master builder of a new house, must be concerned with the whole structure. Listen to it very carefully. As the master builder of a new house must be concerned with the whole structure, while the one who undertakes his painting and decorations has only to consider what is suitable for adornment. Such, in my judgment, is the case with us. You think about this building. The engineer, the builder that built it, and those who labored to, to construct this building structurally, they were concerned with the whole structure, the engineering bit. That is why this church has been standing for about 125 years, the building. I have some older churches that have been standing for more than 1,000 years. Those who built them, I'm talking about physical church now, those who built them, they took care about the structure of the building. If they did not, the building would have collapsed. The building would have collapsed. But those who paint, they don't care about the structure. They only care about the adornment. To beautify it. That's all painters care about. To put the paint, to make it look nice. You and I, we are to decide tonight which part of the building work are you to do? Which one do I want to do? Are you going to be part of the master builders or you are going to be the painter? What some people do when they set up churches or prayer meetings or fellowships is to make it look nice. They paint it. They try to attract you with what they know you, you want. They tell you all the good stories of what God can do for you. They never tell you what you should do for God, except, of course, they tell you to give your money. Apart from your money, there's nothing else they tell you God wants from you. We are as there are so many things God wants from you. This time around, the very many things that God wants from you has nothing to do with physical thing that you give him. It has to do with your character, your behavior, 
There are a lot of things about your, your, your life, your behavior that God demands from you.